So at a fundamental level, direct drive means that your hands are connected directly through the wheel to the motor shaft itself. So there's no cogs, there's no pulleys, there's nothing else separating your hands from the actual motor. Now, the first thing that most people notice when they fire up a direct drive wheelbase is that it's almost completely silent in operation. This one does make a little bit of noise with the active cooling as well as some of the high frequency tones that you get through the True Force technology, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But generally speaking, it is extremely quiet in operation and definitely nothing like the jackhammer that you get with the other Logitech wheels that are on the market at this point in time. Now, because your hands are connected directly to the motor shaft, that also means that there's no lash or play in the wheel at all. With a belt-driven system, it tends to manifest itself as a slight sort of dampening effect. So you get a little bit of flex or a little bit of give in the pulley assembly itself. And that overall means a loss of fidelity in terms of what you're feeling through the wheel. You can imagine if you've got the motor changing directions really quickly and it's connected to a belt, a lot of that really rapid movement is gonna be absorbed and dampened by the belt itself and not actually come through to what you're feeling in your hands. Now, if you compare to a cog-driven system like a G923, for example, because there has to be a little bit of lash in the gears to allow them to move freely and not bind, you can imagine, again, if the cogs are moving really rapidly and you've got teeth that are like that, little tiny subtle movements are gonna just be taken up by the lash and not actually again translate through to what you're feeling in your hands. So direct drive means quiet operation as well as a lot more fidelity in what you're feeling fundamentally. Now the other really important advantage of direct drive is the overall response time. So you can imagine in a belt or cog driven system, generally what's happening is they're using a smaller weaker motor and using some sort of a gearing system to step that up. And that means trade-offs in either direction. So if you're running a small motor and trying to generate a lot of torque, that means that the acceleration or the top speed is gonna be a lot slower. And conversely, if you wanna have a high top speed or high acceleration, then the overall torque level is gonna be lower because of the gearing. So with a direct drive motor, you get the best of both worlds. You get a fast response time, fast acceleration whilst maintaining high levels of torque. And that is particularly true of a servo type motor like what we have inside the G Pro. So I hope that all of that makes sense. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions there. But the important thing to understand is is that peak force isn't the only determining factor in what the experience is gonna be like with a wheelbase. If you're comparing 11 Newton meters on a direct drive to 11 Newton meters on a cog or belt driven system, the experience will be fundamentally different.